Roll Over DJ by Jet on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. All right, Carl? Yeah. Bit miserable today, Carl. Let me explain why. Go on. Steve, and to you, the listeners. Well, we came in to a big, big bunch of stuff. Dropped off by, was it Becky from yeah. Marks and Spencer? Just like lovely stuff. Food, presents for the cat, books, just, you know, to Ricky and Steve. Ricky and Steve. Ricky and Steve who do the show, right? Ricky, Gervais and Steve Merchant. GQ presenters of the year. Creators of the yeah. office, yeah. right? Yeah. Award winning. Carl's looking over, I go, oh, uh, so, well maybe, oh, it's not just, not for you, no. And then, then he told me why he's grumpy anyway. Go on. Do you know what XFM are giving everyone, he's been, how long have you been here? About six years. What are you getting for Christmas from XFM? Two CDs. <laughs> <laughs> Is that of your choice or do they choose them? Uh, there's a list of about 30. Right. <laughs> Tell him what you chose. 30 CDs. I've gone for, uh, Kings of Leon album. Yeah. And, uh, the best of Bob Marley. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we, like, given them away in the past or something? Or you could have burnt them off, couldn't you? You could have done copies. Illegal, but you could have done that. Mm. Anytime you wanted. Tell I, I don't right? think Bob Marley minds if you- No. The bootleg his CDs. It's out of order though, isn't it? It is bad. <laughs> Although you is that get... always the case? Has it always been the truth of all the time you've been here? No, it has been better than this. Yeah, although you do get paid quite well and you do have an easy time. Yeah, but don't give me the CDs then. If it was a milkman, you don't go, oh, I have two bottles of semi-skimmed. Happy yeah. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a valid point. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Are you complaining? Uh, who is it who made this decision? Oh, there's it... no point. No point, is there? Why? There's no point. I don't like moaning anyway, just... <laughs> Has it come from up top? Is it yeah. like from the capital people? Just, just everyone, that's what everyone gets. Yeah. I'm yeah, but oh, will Christian get two CDs for getting up at 4.30 every day for about five years? And keeping this station afloat. Mm, probably. Yeah. So, that's why I'm a bit fed up. What yeah. are you listening to first, Marley or Leon? Well, you have, uh, have a bit of, yeah, a bit of Marley. I'll tell you what Marley's good for, as well. You will have a little beach holiday, aren't you, over Christmas, going to Lanzarote? Mm. Listening to that on the beach, you'll, you'll, you'll realise how wise XFM are in the long run. <laughs> you know, you go, well look, they could have given me 400 quid, right? Well, I'd have spent that. But this is, you know, the legend it's lives the on. It keeps on giving. So, you'll probably, you know what I mean? Think how much those, what you've got to think of is how much those, all these great songs took, not only from, from the depth of his soul and, you know, uh, uh, it, all his sort of angst and knowledge and love, and then all the studio time, the marketing, and you're, they're just giving you one that. They go, yeah, don't worry about that, Carl, you have it. And you go, what? All the time we spent it with Bob Marley and everything. Uh, you go, have it, Carl, have it, have it, Carl, have it, Carl. And then, yeah, have that, have that. Thanks, thanks, well done. Carry on. We're still going to pay you for the work. Yeah. That's just something on top. Here's a little piece of Bob, free. Yeah, so don't moan, it's extra. So, uh, I didn't have to give you it at all. Play a record, you ungrateful little swine. Some people, like the homeless, aren't getting anything this Christmas. This is my favourite. Elvis Costello track of all time. It's Alison. This wasn't on the list. <laughs> right. <laughs> Elvis Costello, Alison on XFM 104.9. So, that's it. If, well, maybe, I'll tell you what, a good idea, Carl. Just beg. Just ask for, get asked for other things. What do you want? What do you want for Christmas? You must have a big fan base out there willing to make you things. Maybe like a little, I don't know, gloves, a pair of gloves. Just a little woolly hat. Uh, do you want to send a uh, necklace in for Suzanne? That'd be handy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's what she wants. Is Suzanne listening today? No, she's out. Right, okay, this is the dilemma. Me and C Steve, yesterday, we're trying to convince Carl that it would be a good idea to buy Suzanne a Christmas present. Mm. Okay. Now, what? Wh why aren't you going to buy a Christmas present? Explain, Carl, why you don't think you should buy her a Christmas present. No, I've told her I'll get her one, but in the new year. We're going away on holiday and that, so yeah. there's no point taking stuff away. Yeah. We're going to Lanzarote next week. Just get something in the sales after Christmas for the, yeah. Yeah. Right. And we, me and Steve were trying to explain to Carl that she would love it if you bought her something on Christmas Day. Yeah, but she knows now. D but, Knows yeah. what? I've told her. So no, well, I'm gonna tell her, do you know, right, this, dear listener, this was Carl's worry. I said, I bet she's got you something. 
and Carl was worried in case he got her something and she hadn't got him something. Yeah. He'd be livid. He didn't want to be down. He didn't want to be a present down. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his face! So buy a nice necklace. Don't spend- just put, spend hundred quid, you know, just a little token. We're going away. We're not taking her away on holiday. They're not taking her away on holiday. What, what, you're paying for it, are you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> are you really? Well, half and half and that. Right. So, so you're paying for you to go on holiday? <laughs> That's good of you. So the gift is your company, really? <laughs> just done all right. She's done all right! Why do you talk like you're 60 years old? <laughs> she's and you've been working down the mine. <laughs> she's- I don't know that she's done all right. Do you go over to her and say, Suzanne, you're bloody lucky. I mean- You've fallen on your feet, look who fair, you've got, what? I'm not sure she has done all right. <laughs> I don't want to be critical, but- <laughs> Oh dear. So what are you gonna get in the sales? What are you gonna get her? Oh, it depends. Um, I'm thinking- I mean, I'll give her the choice, she can have Kingsley and old Bob Marley. <laughs> 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 right, I'll let her decide that. Oh <laughs> yeah. dear. Uh, I can't wait to see you. Where, where are you going, Lanzarote? Yeah. Where's that? I don't know, Suzanne sorted it. I, I, I said, I said, I said, uh, Lanzarote, what, I said, is that, I said, is that Africa or is it Spain or Portugal? Just thought you were Dunno. I went, what do you mean, Dunno? Well, what's the currency went, Dunno? I said, Suzanne booked this one, did she? Uh, yeah. I thought, uh, so, um, where is it? Is it, is Lanzarote African or? Foreign. Somewhere, somewhere uh, foreign. I was looking last night and uh it doesn't look that good. <laughs> there was the like one of the highlights of the things it says you've got to do is go and have uh apparently they've got restaurants in caves and that's like mm. one of the things they say you must do. Mm. So if that's a highlight, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> so we'll do that. Go and see what that's like. Yeah. When you're on the beach, Carl, do you wear the very, very tight speedos? No. Do you walk around? Where? Uh, sort of longish shorts, yeah. t-shirt on, probably with a sort of a light shirt on top of that. Right, sure. So uh, quite quite wrapped up then. Covered up. Do you wear a hat? Because obviously the bald head there is <laughs> risk of sunburn. Uh, no, I just put a bit of lotion on it. Lotion on there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, just have a bit of a wander, wander down the beach, have a look. Yeah. See if there's any old blokes with their tackle out and a backpack. <laughs> I'll have to look forward to. So. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. Well, uh, we're looking forward to finding out how you get on. Yeah. Like and uh, interested to know what she gives you on Christmas Day. Uh, uh, more scintillating chat after this next song. Right, better placebo. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. Love it. Special needs. <laughs> placebo, special needs on XFM 104.9. Emailing where Lanzarote is. I don't know if it's Italy or Spain or Europe or maybe Africa. You know, these are the sort of things, these are the reasons I come into it, to, to, to at least learn some, ain't it, Carl? We've stopped educating Ricky, so I've stopped, I've stopped learning, you know, about things like the woman who had mud all her life. I and, told you uh, something before when we were in the office. I what, what, what did you, well, go on, what was that? What did you teach me? Uh, they've just counted how many fish are in the scene, though. No, they what? haven't. just done a census. A census? Them. What, a fish? Yeah, some fellas have gone in the sea and it's, they've got to work out, there's about... This is Spratt, is this, do your son? No, he's a lodger. Okay, well, let's mark him down, that's two. Oh, I've lost count. Six million four and oh, darn. So how many are there? Well, there's a lot. There's <laughs> 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 oh. Well, there are more species of fish than bird, mammal and reptile put together. Can I ask that's, a question? That's on my DVD of animals. That's still available oh. in the shops. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, uh, find it online, you'll get that slightly cheaper. Uh, 15 .99. What? Go on, ask me, ask me a question. Ask me a question. Ask me a question. Carl's Pilkington's also on the DVD. Yeah. That's a perfect Christmas gift. Yeah. Um, Go on. Yeah, this is a question. I was discussing this yesterday. I'm not, this is not a bit of shit. This is not a joke. I genuinely have always, always been slightly perplexed, and we were discussing it last night. The notion of the birds and the bees. Yeah. Now, I don't mean, you know, the birds and the bees. I no. understand how, you why, know. Why they use the birds and the bees? Yeah, because, well, you see, I always, as a child, I never, no one, I assumed the bees were having some kind of relations with the birds. No. So what's, what, is there anything to do with the birds and the bees, or is it literally, uh, you know, just like a euphemism? It's just, uh, oh, the birds and the bees. No, but they, they- Do the birds do anything with the bees? No, no, not at all. It was where they parents- just take them out, they It was where parents them. used to, to sidestep the issue by saying things like, you know when a lady blackbird and a, and a man blackbird, they meet, right? They make a little nest, and then because they're in love, they have an egg. Yeah. And that was it. I understand that, that makes sense, but why the bees? Why the birds and the bees? Um, well- Probably, um, 
I don't know. I don't know. You see, I, within nature, forgive my ignorance, within well, nature there well, is no relationship between bees well, and no, birds, is there? No, no, not at all. No, not at Nothing's all. Nothing's going on. But probably what it was, it was, it, if the parent found it hard to say, you know, daddy puts his penis at mummy's vagina, it was much easier to say, like, in the insect world, billions of them queue up and just fill the queen with spunk for about a day. <laughs> sure. You know, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, avoiding yeah. the embarrassing <laughs> intercourse. <laughs> exactly. That's m what I think, Carl. What do you think? Were you, were you taught about the birds and the bees? Did anyone bring that up with you? No, it was just in that class, wasn't it? When, uh, they put a video on. <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> That's what we had. No, we had a film. And they just said, Leia, I watched that. And then, uh, What film, right. though? Basic Instinct? It was just, just like, you know, two, two people. And, uh, all sat round the telly and watched it. One girl fainted. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, right, that's that. Next week, you know, prisms. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> and did it teach you everything you needed to know? Uh, well, how much do you need to know? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> no, true. Except one kid in my class still thought a baby came out of an ass. <laughs> Afterwards, he didn't understand. <laughs> I think what they should have shown on those videos is technique as much as anything. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Because yeah. it was largely just instructional. Wooing. Mm. Wooing. Mm. What he didn't tell you was how to get into a position where this <laughs> might be of some interest. <laughs> that should have been the first four weeks of the course. Yeah, well, obviously that baby, who had a, the, the kid who had a baby. What was going on there, Carl? That was that was Did you see that? Yeah, that was going to be your favourite programme, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't that good in the end. What Why? This is, you told us about this story ages ago, didn't ages you? Ages ago. I told you about, about a year ago, about a baby that had a baby. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's a bit different, the baby that had a baby, isn't it? Whereas a Siamese twin with a, with a, a, a breech, um, actually just, you know, developed in, inside him for, you know, just, well, it wasn't even developing. Uh, it was uh, a, a, a twin stillborn that, um, just was inside... Mm enveloped in the other one's body, so it's a little bit different to a baby, what had a baby, isn't it? Yeah. Actually disappointed he was. Mm. Do you know what he said to me? He went, well I thought it was gonna come out, and yeah. go, oh bloody hell, I'm seven, what a waste of my life. <laughs> like he'd been yeah. in there going, oh, hello, <laughs> yeah. hello, <laughs> seven, <laughs> idiot. Yeah. Yeah, a bit disappointing, but there was a programme on after that, right? <laughs> um, at ten o'clock on Discovery and I haven't got Discovery. Oh, right. It was about... Oh, I didn't see it. This oh, is it. Right, I yeah. was going to say to people, if they've got a copy of it on tape, I guess you can send it in. What was it? Uh, about a baby with four legs. <laughs> right. That's... that was on... at ten on... It wasn't a puppy. No, no. What's it doing up there? <laughs> yeah. It's my baby. <laughs> oh, is it mum? All right then, yeah. fine. Yeah. Oh, he's got four legs, yes. Yeah. Sometimes they do have Look, four legs. Look, Dad's gone, he's never coming back, you've yeah. got to get over it. <laughs> so, if anyone's it's got a baby, send it in. Oh right, dear, okay, send it in, so you want a tape with a baby with four legs. You're gonna be disappointed again. It's not gonna be like a baby with four legs who's running round, running up the curtains. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be that. They're probably, it's probably gonna be two legs and then two sort of like, floppy appendages. You know what I mean? It's not, they're not gonna be brilliant, it's not gonna be like Jake the Peg. You're gonna be disappointed. Apparently Lanzarote is one of the Canary Islands. Oh, is it? Although we've also been told it's part of Spain. Right, I don't yeah. know who to believe. I don't know who to believe either. Um... That's put me, that puts me back, cos I knew it was either one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was it. Um... Where the pilot knows, doesn't he? Huh? Pilot knows where he's going. Oh, I thought so, yeah. Doesn't matter then. No. Right, we're playing Jayhawks. Let's play it. <clears throat> Love it. Got bored with that conversation, did you? Long and winding road. I love that, mm. but I don't like the way McCartney sings here. It was just one. He goes, uh, "You leave me waiting here." Well, he's always got that slightly affected. But it sounds style, like Richard it? Burton or something. Here. Yeah. <laughs> but it's only one that does it. But mm. I don't know why. Mm. I just think he likes it or wants to go back and change it. Maybe it's like. But having said that, you know, I'm not taking away from the Beatles. One of the best bands ever. <laughs> well, yeah. Good luck. Brilliant to songwriters. Oh, uh, yeah, well. yeah. 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 Um, we've had a lot of emails, Carl, I don't want to sort of put a damper on your Christmas, but a lot of people have been slagging off Lanzarote. 
One of them just said, well, one of them just, I, let me, I don't know if I can find it. It is Canaria, isn't it? It's Grand, it is the, the, one of the Canaries, isn't it? It's a volcanic island covered in volcanic dust. It's very windy, so you have to dig a hole to sit in on the beach. <laughs> and there's hardly anything to do. <laughs> That's when Mike got him, and he says, uh, unless you like quad biking, well, you know, you've seen what happened to, uh, no, don't go quad so don't biking, do that. not with your little head, there's no protection at all, yeah, so. I don't know what you're thinking, I don't know. At least Rick Mann and Ozzy had lots of hair, you, you, yours would, you'd be like Humpty Dumpty, it would crack, like a little egg. <laughs> <laughs> and then, if we'd seen, you know, there's no kings or king's horses, so, yeah, yeah, well, they couldn't, they couldn't do the job anyway. No, they shouldn't remember. really send them, they're not really yeah. qualified. Horses send a, not equipped to put Send a, back a medical man. man, like Neil Fox in. <laughs> yes. To mend but not eggs. not some kind of military horse. I bet he's had the egg on his face a few times, hasn't he? What, Foxy? Yeah. Where? Um, Most of the series of Pop Idol. <laughs> <laughs> right, Carl. Lanzarote, good or bad? Well, you got to give it a go, haven't you? Yeah, well done. Um, give yeah. everywhere a go. Exactly. That's what I was saying. You know, don't just take the word for it. I mean, I mean, if it had said Nana Nova, mm. uh, Lanzarote shit, he'd have believed it. Sure. You know, if he'd have overheard it in a pub, <laughs> yeah. Lanzarote a crap, he'd have believed it. <laughs> he'd have just seen it on a website mm. that was mainly concerned with monkeys and witches, <laughs> he'd have believed it. Yeah. As it yeah, is- but Everybody raves about New York and when I went there I thought it was rubbish. Well you're an idiot then, cause yeah. that is the- Subjective possibly though, the greatest city in the world, along with London. Subjective though. That's why they have holiday programs and that, innit? So you see it and you decide for yourself and that. Yeah, but you saw, um, Venice on an holiday program as you put it. You went there and you went as rubbish, full of black bin liners. Well, it is. Right. Didn't they it, show them? It stunk. Didn't Judith Chalmers say that? Oh, oh, it stinks here and there's loads of rubbish everywhere. No, she didn't. Didn't she mention that? Oh. That's what I mean. <laughs> so it depends what you want from holiday, doesn't it? Well, yeah. But so. You're an idiot if you don't like New York, so next. Anyway, come on, don't, come on, break up, guys. Kiss and make up. Yeah. Um, Carl, we've had an email. Some old rockbusters. Um, someone's emailed in, they wonder if you can get some of your old Rockbusters clues, your old genuine Rockbusters clues. I know Rockbusters has come back Well, of course today, he can, it's the way his brain works. Well, indeed, but uh, I think you'll, uh, well, maybe you can also enjoy the challenge, Rick. Yeah. And, and you at home. Yeah, I remember them as well, because I remember how angry they made me. Here's <laughs> some old Rockbusters. Uh, that army's got some well-nice trenches. DW. Uh, that army's got some well-nice trenches. DW. No. Dandy Warhols. That one works. It's though. not bad, is it? That's why I didn't get that one, because it worked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's only got one sticker left. It, you, it was actually he's only got one sticker left. Oh, okay. He's only got one sticker left. Uh, oh, the band, his last sticker. <laughs> exactly. With Justine Fishman, yeah, his last sticker. Yeah. They were brilliant, weren't they? I, uh, what happened to his last sticker? Are they still going? <laughs> he'll, he'll strap some chocolate to your feet. That's A. A band or artist, A. Eh? He'll strap some chocolate to your feet. Go on. Aerosmith. I don't know really what that means, but. And finally, um, you'll have to. Aero cobbler. <laughs> yeah. The well known uh, Aero cobbler. <laughs> and you'll have to stick her in the oven, A B. You'll have to stick her in the See, oven. See, he thinks. He thinks um, blacksmith means, like, just shoes. Like, it's not the smith. The, it's the smith part. Mm. A smith is just a, a right, isn't it? So it doesn't work, I don't know, Aerosmith. What does that mean, Carl? What well, does that come mean? come on, you'll have to stick her in the oven, A-B. Yeah, I know that one. Yeah? Yeah. What is it? But it doesn't work. Apparently it does, you'll have to stick her in the oven, A-B. Single or artist. Well, Anita Baker. Anita Baker. Why, why you have to stick her in the oven? Anita Baker. <laughs> oh, I need to. Mm. But why didn't you say, like, um, you'll have to, uh, um, get his hair cut and put a nice white, um, chef's hat on. That's Anita Baker. See, that works. That works, Carl. I need to bake her. Doesn't work. It is shite. <laughs> okay, well, right. listen, uh, before you judge, listen to today's Rockbusters. Okay. They're here with us now. Here's Carl Pilkington. Yeah, right back, just for Christmas. Mm. Um, <laughs> Brilliant. I've, I've only got two, really, because- Oh, was, what? Because oh, I was- tr I was trying to work one out before, right, in my little room. I was looking at different band names, thinking, what can I do? Yeah. Couldn't concentrate, because Ricky was in there, trying to spray deodorant all over the place. <laughs> right? Mm. <laughs> well, you should have done them yesterday. You should have, you should have shut me out. Right. So there's just two. Brilliant. Okay. Well, I've kind of got an idea for the third oh, one. Fine. Oh, fine. Yeah. I'll have a go. Yeah. Right, so anyway, the first one. Should we uh, play a record and come back to this? Oh, we'll do it quickly, we'll do it No, no, play a record. Rubbish. Well, yeah. Rubbish. Libertines. Mm. Useless. Give me the gifts, let me have a little price. Right, yeah.
Libertines, don't look back into the sun on XFM. Well, the general public are getting involved with, um, Carl's holiday and, I mean, this has been a damning report on Lanzarote. There's not been a positive word written about Lanzarote so far. Wow. It's volcanic, there's no natural water Apparently supply. there's no natural water supply, it's you all You have to imported. sit in a hole. What do you think of this, Carl? What, what do you think of the people that want the, what, do you to know that you're going to a rubbish place when you can't change it? What it do you think of that? Show, will it? What do you mean? All right. What do you mean it'll be right? Because I'm gonna go there thinking, oh, there's no water and that, and there will be water. No, they didn't say there's no water. What did they say then? There's no natural water supply. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not bothered. It doesn't bother me. All right. I'm gonna have a good time and that. What are you gonna do? What's your plan to do? Got a book. What, you, what book you got? A uh, Rich Hall book. I'm just yeah. gonna read that. So Brilliant. And the weather's better than here, isn't it? Yeah. So. Another someone, uh, someone emailed just now, they said they're listening online and there's a problem with their computer and everything's sped up, the music's sped up, our voices, Rick, are sped up, except Carl's. That's how slow he speaks. <laughs> <laughs> so when everything's okay. sped up, he sounds a normal. <laughs> right, we're doing Rockbusters. <laughs> yeah, come on. Listening Steve, online. do you want to do, wow. do the, uh, clues? I won't do the clues, I'll never be able to piece them together, but I'll give you the prizes. Uh, The Old Grey Whistle Test, Volume 2, <laughs> Kumar's at number 42, Volume 2, or maybe that's Volume 1, who cares? Porridge, Series 3, Volume 2, The Office, Complete Second Series on VHS, for anybody uh, who's still got grandparents. And um, you 2 a best of 1990-2000. And Smash Hits, The Reunion, that'll be the Carl. kind of stuff you love. Spice Girls is on there, Liberty X, Atomic Kitten. Do you see that? Do you see Steve's enthusiastic? Even though the, the, the competition's rubbish, the prize is a second rate, Steve is going, well, I'm not going to punish London, right? I'm going to big it up. You're there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Come on. Right, here's clue the one. first clue. Clue, clue one. one. Come uh, on. Come uh, on! Come on! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Can't do any photos because it's been nicked by what? a German. <laughs> right, start oh, again. Oh, start again. What? <laughs> clue one. Rockbusters, clue one. Okay, <laughs> this is Rockbusters with Carl Pilkington. Go! I can't do any photos because it's been nicked by a German. And what's the initial? AC. <sighs> right? Next. S second clue. If you keep eating, this bit of your body <sighs> will get bigger. PC. PC. It's an artist or a band, who is it? PC. <laughs> If you keep eating, this part of your body will get bigger, right? Yeah. And the last one I'm not really sure about. Oh. Um, if you... <laughs> He's actually winging it now. Imagine if this was mastermind. <laughs> I'm not sure about it. I know you're especially subject Come on! Uh, okay, go! The, the place where you go to oh, take your dog a walk and that. The, t the place where you go to take your dog oh, a walk. Get it, then. No, we'll do it! No, do it! Get you! <laughs> Tim Burgess. Oh my Corazon, is that? Yeah. <laughs> What's that mean? I've no idea. Phone in if you know. No, it's... don't bother. Oh, um, email then, at least. Yeah, okay. I'd like to know these things. Sure. Um, we were doing Rockbusters just before the ads and the record, Rick. I know you were enjoying it. Yeah, come on, get this clue out, Carl. It's three. What is it? Right, the first one was... No, no, we don't look the first two. What's can't the do any photos because oh. it's been nicked by a German. Yeah. Second one, if you keep eating the, uh, if you keep eating, this bit of your body will keep getting bigger. Yeah, it's different every time. Go on, what's the third and, one? um, w where you take your dogs oh. for a walk and that, or you might go there on a Sunday. What? Um, sort of... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Rick, 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 just be quiet for just a moment. Right, okay, do this clue. Right, start from now. This is the third blockbuster... Sorry, Rockbuster Clue. That was a Freudian slip. Yeah, God, oh, we'll get done. Oh. Right, go on then, go. Where you take your dog a walk, or you or uh, you might go there on a Sunday and that. Um, <laughs> people sort of might taste that area. <laughs> right? Oh. You are, it's rubbish. AP. Right, a -P. well, the other one's AP as well. AP. What? AP, Ricky right. Dr. Race, AP. A quick reminder of them again with the initials. Quick, oh, go. this is such rubbish. The first one, can't do any photos because it's been nicked by a German. Second one, if you keep it. What was the initial? AC. If Don't you keep... get annoyed, that's what the, the game's about, the initials. Yeah. If you keep eating, oh. this bit of your body will get bigger. That's PC. Right. Right? 
and where you take your dog maybe on a Sunday and you go for a walk there and that, have a taste of it. That's <laughs> right? different! AP, AP, just email in and you win some stuff. Ricky.Gervais at xfm.co.uk. What rubbish. I wonder why we stopped this game. Well, I think it's probably exhausted him. He needs to go to some kind of volcanic dust island <laughs> for a holiday. <laughs> With no water. Yeah, exactly. Just to dry out and get some new ideas. Oh, I'd love to see you sitting there <laughs> on the, on these on black ash sand, just yeah. sitting there going, I'm thirsty, Suzanne. <laughs> There's no I've, natural finished, water. I've finished my rich old book. I can't focus. I'm going blind. I need some water. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, bless him. Anyway, happy Christmas. We said we weren't getting out, <laughs> didn't we? <laughs> right, go on then. Um, oh, did, it was the premiere. Did you see the coverage? It was a premiere of uh, Lord of the Rings Part oh, 3. Oh, I can't be bothered. I mean, man alive, I'm sick of Lord I of the watched Rings. the first one and I was actually quite. I've never been into all that sort of stuff. Never like Gollum it. and Dungeons and Dragons no. and gatekeepers and weird magic and Harry Potter makes I want to punch his face in. <laughs> I know what you mean. But I mean, it's sort of like, oh. Well, Lord no. of the Rings, when I was at school, if you were into that sort of thing, you were a nerdlinger. They would beat you up, they'd shout exactly. heckle abuse, all that sort of thing, you know. I, I wasn't a fan. I actually don't know anyone who admitted they were into that I know. Nonsense. It was shameful. It was embarrassing. Now, the whole world's gone crazy for it. Even the tough guys, the hard nuts, the streetwise kids, they're loving it. Can't wait for the third one. I see people raving about it. It's Jonathan Ross, all these people going, it's the best thing I've ever seen. It's three hours and ten minutes of trolls and goblins and magic spells and large feet and magic rings. I'm loving all that crap. <laughs> What's wrong with I you know. people? I will smite you with my sword. <laughs> it's just, it's yeah. just interminable. The orcs and the norks. I saw and the... some, I saw some people playing this game. They had a big manual and a dice, and they're in a pub, and they all had, they're all fat with beards, right? And he threw a dice, and he went, looked down, and he went, um, and he said something like, um, um, uh, outside them, uh, the three, three miles to Mumra, and they went, oh, well done. What? <laughs> I know. I was, I wanted to go and say, what is this game? Yeah. What? It's absolutely extraordinary. Well, they showed some coverage of the Lord of the Rings um, premiere on TV, and there were people dressed up as some of the characters. Yeah. There was a girl chatting saying, "Well, I just think Gollum's hilarious." What? what? People t talking about telling me Gollum's hilarious in this new film. How is he funny, my precious? All oh, my precious. What's funny about this? I, I'm losing it. I'm That's genuinely. A, is he like Yoda? I don't, I don't like know. Yoda. I don't know what the joke is. I, I'm missing it all. And when the walking trees started talking. Oh man, I love it. Gollum, like Gollum's the little one that looks a bit like Gandhi. Sort of yeah, exactly. The yeah. computer animated Gandhi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that all right? Yeah. I think that's how he's described in the book. <laughs> But so, this is the other thing I say, oh, then they go, oh, well, Tolkien, J.R.R. Tolkien, he's a genius. You know he created his own language? Whoopee! Carl comes up with a new word every week that he's made up. <laughs> he he's not a genius. Yeah, well, that bloke, the bloke, a look of frighteningness came <laughs> across his it. face. Frighteningness. Yeah, Carl's new word. Although, you know, Shakespeare uh, introduced 1,200 words to the English language, apparently. Well, he was a genius. He's estimated. And I only know one of them. Yeah, what was Brilliant. It? Brilliant? Yeah. How did he come up with that? I don't know. I reckon he was, uh, maybe he was reading Macbeth and went, I'll tell you this, this is brilliant. Yeah, and his wife said, what? This is brilliant, I'll tell you this, this is absolutely brilliant. I don't know what you mean. Sort of. Will. Oh, sort of better than good. Read it, see what you think. Well, it's good, yeah, but I mean. Read it again. Well, it's, well, it's getting better each time. Is it brilliant? It is brilliant. Yeah, see? Yeah. I don't I, know how you, I, just, when the audience were there oh, on no, that first night. it wasn't brilliant. I know, it wasn't brilliant, it was excellent, he came up with. Well, fair enough, it's the same sort of thing. Yeah. But on the first night, when everyone was in the theatre, you know, the dregs, the Carls of the, of the Middle Ages, they're still sat there, the Renaissance, I should say, they're all yeah. sat there watching it, they're enjoying the play, they're loving it, all the kind of people dressing up or whatever it might be, the boys playing the girls, the girls not involved, all the rest of the, the, yeah. the, 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 I'm loving this, it's absolutely brilliant, uh, he's gonna kill her, the, 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 well, forsooth, it was excellent, I don't know what that means. Yeah. You've lost me. Excellent. I'm sure not. Yeah, was it, uh, what, it was what, wow, you know, excellent. I don't see how you can make up words, it's like, it doesn't seem that that's, that doesn't count in poetry. Well, I suppose you have to, don't you, eventually, if you want to describe some of that. Why? Just well, use the words that exist, isn't well, that the no, rule? No, but we know that's why we borrow from other languages. There are certain phrases that can't be translated, because mm. the, there, there, there are no words in other languages for them. Mm. I mean, we, I think we beat the second language by about double. I what language? We, I, I think uh, in English we have got about I think Russian second, but I think we got twice as many words. So there are obviously things that we say that cannot really be translated. Yeah, and so uh, you know ours is just great for uh, obviously poetry and. It and makes uh, sense when you think about things like blamange. Blamange is be good. Like yeah, wobbly pudding. I know. In English, but I think if there are about, I don't know how many there are. Some would know. So there's about a hundred thousand possibilities, right? I think we we probably know. As educated people like us, Steve, we probably have about twenty thousand. Sure, right? 
I really don't think we need that other 80,000. No. I can't, I, I'm not walking around <laughs> going, I don't know what they're talking about. Exactly. I I'm really, what did he say? What yes. is that? I mean, that happens possibly once or twice a year hmm. when I go, what, sorry, what does that, what does that mean? Yeah, yeah. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Carl, you look bored, mate. We had a real I, conversation I think there. he switched off when I said forsooth. <laughs> Bruce Forsooth, you know him. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 so much better than last week. You know him, don't you? Carl? Got a song on, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, right. boards. Okay, there was a monkey, right? Ah, no, he's no, no, right, right. right. It was a professor of English. <laughs> Cold outside, but I don't blame No blue sky. The Thorns. That's beautiful, isn't it? On XFM 104.9. Carl, you're losing your rag a little bit. What's the matter? Nothing gone. See? What's the matter? No, what's well, the matter, I've, Carl? I've got something to cheer him up. Someone's okay. emailed in, Emma's emailed in. She said that, um, <laughs> for those that know, those in the know, they referred to Lanzarotti as <laughs> Lanzagrotti. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, so, He's um, a bit fed up. He's got two CDs for Christmas from a company... That's he's been with for six years. Mm. He's a little, little bit grumpy about having to answer the phones. Hmm. Yeah, he wouldn't go and make Steve another cup of tea immediately. <laughs> Selfish. Yeah. Carl, what are you thinking? Nothing. Go on, what were, you, what were you doing? Come on, Carl, you're getting paid for this. Project. Out. We'll take one of those CDs away. Alright. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? <clears throat> Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Sick of it, as I say. Mm. Um, so there's some people dressed up on TV. They, they were dressed up as the characters. They had their sort of costumes. There was a guy. I remember, there was a guy I went to university with. Uh, I don't want to mention his name. Went into his room once. He's he into that sort of thing. In the, he showed me in his wardrobe. He had a full size Star Trek outfit <laughs> that his mum had made for him. That his mum had made for him. Yeah. But I wanted to say, well, A, you take this university, but B, when are you going to wear that? Yeah. When are you ever in the mood to wear that? Well, you know, you never know when. Uh... It, you know, like an Apollo 13, wasn't it? When someone had uh, measles or something, someone else got in. <laughs> sure. So you might go, oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Can't believe it. The Enterprise, uh, uh, Uhuru can't make it. But it's the idea of that being, you know, I'm not one to speak, but it's that idea of that sort of being attractive to women. Because that's presumably generally when you're at university, when you're 18, 19, that's the reason you wear those kind of clothes, is to try and make a bond with someone, isn't it? Try and establish some kind of connection. Yeah. Saw a guy walking down the street the other day, must have been 18, 19, wearing an honest t shirt, just had a picture, and the, the words, um, Star Wars Phantom Menace. <laughs> he, he, he probably like. <laughs> but just the idea of a girl going, yeah, well, I hey. like them as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're supposed to be kind of kooky and eclectic t-shirts, aren't they, normally? They're supposed to be a bit sort of radical and a bit my, offbeat. Uh, my favourite, though, are, um, I, I love fat goths. Yes. I really love Who fat goths. Who are still goths. persevering with it, even yeah, in their uh, uh, Yeah, I, I like your fat young ones. I love fat 18-year-old goths. I really like them. They're uh, one of my favourites. And I like 42-year-old goths. <laughs> yeah. Who, they're, they're losing all their hair. They're just growing at the back. But, you know, I don't know, I don't know what jobs they do. But, they're, well, their main hobby is looking like Nosferatu and yeah. wearing lots of silverware. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's one of my favourites. I think I mentioned to you before, I saw a girl on the tube, she had a bag, and, uh, she was quite gothy. She had a bag, and it had, the, it sort of had like a Barbie's head, kind of, sort of defaced, sort of yeah. from there, and loads of badges, and tassels, and little motifs, and odd things, and she decorated the bag. And then had sort of things like, you know, um, legalise cannabis, and ban the bomb, you know, and stop the war. Yeah. And I just wanted to grab her and say, um, you're doing much about the war, or are you working mainly on the bag? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you like, spent most of the year yeah, you're filling in the petitions, are yeah, you yeah. doing the marches, or is it largely badges. the bag you're focused on? Oh dear. I'll tell you another thing, that one, a fashion mistake it always offends me whenever I see it, is an Englishman, yeah. of any age, yeah. wearing cowboy boots. I had cowboy boots. I, I, I can't you, believe it. I've, when I was 18, right, I, um, I went out and got a pair of cowboy boots. The cheapest, I mean, they were the only ones I could afford. Awful. Why? I mean, you, was that they, were like, in... they were like clogs that came up to the knee. They were so uncomfortable. And why, and why did you get them? What, who was wearing them at the time that you that, that you thought they were cool? Clint Eastwood. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. And I, I had cowboy boots. I put segs in them. What segs? With the little things you nailed into the bottom. So right? they sort of clip clop as you well. Right. So I'm about uh, 18, right? Uh, those tight jeans, so tight in fact, I thought I had, I, I had to went to the doctor and I said my balls are aching and I went off. I said oh, I've got a pain in my epididymis and all this, which I was doing biology. And he went, your jeans are too tight. They're squashing your balls, <laughs> right? 
Uh, so I had cowboy boots, right, and pale ones, not even sort of like finished properly, sort of like just the raw sort of leather, cheap wooden bits at the bottom, sags, really tight Levi's, <laughs> and a red sweatshirt with bullshit on it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a present. Just it on. I looked pretty hot, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, and I remember once as well, this was, th this is really embarrassing, I had leather jacket, and, uh. How old were you? Oh, this is embarrassing. Twenty-six, I think. And I just had a nice leather jacket, right? But I was bored one day, and so it's about, uh, 1986, 87. Yeah. 87, must have been. And, uh, I just painted on the lapel <laughs> a little acid. <laughs> 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 and that didn't last. And were I, you going to Acid House uh, Rage at the time? No, of course not. No, no. But, but I remember, I remember that one didn't last long. That was in the bottom of the wardrobe immediately. Yeah. I knew at the time, I just thought, what the, f what yeah. is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I forgive, I, I forgive anyone sort of anything up to about the age of 25, right? I don't know. But I mean, it's getting close there, yeah, but certainly up to age of 20. But it's the 40 year olds. It is yeah. the 40 year olds that yeah, yeah. just still have a little, have a little go. But, Goths are the best. Goths but, but, are Goths the best. Goths or, or the cowboy stuff, because there's never been a culture of cowboys in this country. I know, You know, yeah. so you see the 40-year-old guy with the kind of cowboy jacket with the tassels. Yeah. You know, or the bootlegs tie. Add that, add that, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Because you yeah. you've been through most phases. This is what's been interesting through, to me about you, is you're yeah. now, you're quite self-aware. But the most committed one was probably the New Romantic when I first went to university, so, uh, you know, uh, 18, red bullshit t-shirt and tight jeans, within a couple of months, David Sylvian, just just full makeup and yeah. that, that, that. Can that. I ask? Because I have never really subscribed to one of those fashions, yeah. one of those styles. Yeah. With something like New Romantic, which is, you've got to be quite committed, do you ease into that slowly? Start wearing a bit of nail polish, maybe an earring, and then you no, work your way in, or you first, went whole hog. No, I remember the first time I did it um, was the sort of like the first disco in my first year. Um, just uh, borrowed someone's makeup, put it on, stopped at the chin, hadn't quite got the. <laughs> So right. I looked like a, sort of like a mannequin. Right. And then I sort of got better at it, I suppose. Right. Wanted right. to look like David Tilbyan. That, yeah. that was the idea, and then it sort of And like so you had to literally go out and sort of start again with your wardrobe, presumably. The cowboy boots went out, the tight jeans. You had to literally go to a shop and buy an outfit, a new romantic outfit. No, it was okay, because in those days it was a suit. So new, right. it was a new romantic, you wore the suit. It, oh, I, didn't, okay. I didn't wear all the sort of like um, pirate gear and pixie boots. Right, I sort right. of wore the suit and the... And luckily, I before I went away, um, I bought a suit from my mum's catalogue, which was one of those <laughs> woolen ones that went bobbly. <laughs> so <laughs> not quite David Sylvia. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, at least I was having a go. Yeah. 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 Well, respect. Have respect. you ever subscribed to any of those fashions, Carl? Uh, no, nah, just... Uh... Just going for the gay look now, aren't you? Where's Ben Sherman's and he shaves his head? I remember watching some Dr. Martins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my mum worked at a college in a canteen. And, uh, she knew what it wanted some, but she got some, uh, it was an old woman who worked in the canteen who said she had some, and it turned out to be like little granny boots. <laughs> and ended up having them for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> With a little zip up the front. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, brilliant. Did you wear them? For a bit. Yeah, well, you yeah, might as well. Yeah. Want not, uh, <laughs> waste not, want not, play a record. Have some ads. All right. <laughs> White stripes, the hardest button to button. Steve, I've got to find out the answer. Mm -hmm. It's been driving me mad. How many words are there in the English language? Does anyone know? Define your terms. By English language, you mean English words. words yeah, I don't, I don't mean English. how many words are there in a dictionary with all slang, different, uh, derivative. How many, how many English words are there that you say were English words, you know, not, not, not but there are not so many of them which yeah, you Yeah, not phrases, from... not, not, not slang necessarily, not, not... But th what about English words which are derived from French, Celtic, all the rest of it? Well, like, you know, cliché is okay, but they have in, they have load, they, yeah, you know, they have other languages in them, but how many different English characters are there? Right. Because uh, uh, was some not news, There was some, yeah. new, some news a few weeks ago about uh, a fella who could, if you said a word to him, right, He'd say, yeah, that's on page 36 of the dictionary, right? And they said he remembered 80,000 words, right? So that's in a little dictionary. They said it's 80,000 words. Mm -hmm. Right, so does that clear that up? Well, I thought there was about 100,000, right, English words in use. Not counting all the, the other little bits and pieces, phrases, 
uh, slang. Like, I think I is in there now. Ali G, popular. Now, I don't know whether I should count that or not. Well, if you're one of our listeners, um, perhaps if you know somebody who finished school, <laughs> you could maybe pop next door, get them, ask them, and then email in the answer, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk if you've got an answer for that. Talking of email correspondence, Rockbusters. Oh, Rick, he's okay. underway. People Have we got monkey news? Absolutely loving that. Let's see if we can cram it in. Have we got a film? Yeah. We should do that then. Well, well let's well, finish let's one thing and move on. Oh, Jesus, oh, calm yeah. down. All right, right, Rockbusters. We, uh, let's get this third one out of the way because it's tricky. Um, the initials, when you say tricky, it's tricky to say. <laughs> the initials were AP. It was, uh, when you take you your take dog out on that, or maybe on Sunday. You know, Come on, let him finish. Rick, let him finish. You take your dog there, you might go there on a Sunday, uh, have a taste of it when you're there. Right? That was AP. Uh, the answer? Alex Parks. Right? <laughs> Alex. Alex Parks? Yeah. It's kind Carl, of doesn't work, that one. Do, but that well, one doesn't I, work, I, I know. I, I know, it's you know, you know that one doesn't work? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, well, that's, well, that's, that's, that's fine. what I was trying to work out when you were messing around. What that's why it isn't that good. Okay, come on. The, the other ones. The first one was, uh, the German These fella. Be can't do any photos because it's been nicked. What's the German that? fella can't do any photos because it's been nicked. That was, uh, uh. The initials were? AC. I've got it. I took right. it's, it. Right, it's, it's, it's Aztec camera. Yeah. But what's that got to do with the German fella nicking it? Because the way he'd say it, he'd be like, you know. As took camera. <laughs> so why aren't you taking any pictures? Can't. Why? As took camera. Why is that German? <laughs> Just sounds a bit. Why? Right, <laughs> you know that's rubbish then as well. You know that one doesn't work, do you? And the the second one was uh, if you keep eating, this bit of your body will get bigger. PC, yeah. Phil Phil colon. <laughs> Phil 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 col Phil. <laughs> It's, uh, honestly, right, Carl, Phil I, 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 Phil honestly, Collins. right, okay, I honestly, I don't know what the PC term is for this, but I honestly think, I, I think you're quite bright, you know, I think you're quite streetwise and all that things, but I actually think, oh, I've got to be so careful here not to offend people, but I think you might be, could you maybe describe it through a sound? Um, you might be educationally subnormal. Does that worry you? No. I've got, I've, you know, I've got by all right. I'm not going to worry about it now. You know what I mean? I'm 30. You know what I mean? Why well, start worrying about it now? But you've got the mind of a 12 year old. <laughs> so what? Sure. You know what I mean? I don't worry about stuff. If you don't know about stuff, you don't worry about it. Yeah. So I'm happy. Well, if he's educationally subnormal, I'm afraid also Matt Briggs of South East London is as well. Well, well, well done, Matt. Well done, Matt. Yeah. So he's won that stuff. He has indeed. Player Echo, we've also got your film quiz coming up and uh, Monkey News. We're all looking forward to that. Right. Monkey News. Bit of Bowie? Yeah, one of my favourite Bowie songs of all time, Letter to Hermione from Space Oddity. Oh. Have you got any Christmas shopping? I can show up and do that now. <laughs> yeah. Letter to Hermione, David Bowie. Well, we've had uh, the most convincing answer. That it's about 290,000 actual words, but possibly 3 million in our vocabulary using all jargon and scientific stuff and all that. Sure. 290,000. Still a lot, isn't it? It is a lot. We know so little, don't we? Apparently the average person has about 20,000 words in oh, their vocabulary right. and uses maybe 2,000 a week. Really? Yeah. Carl, obviously, it's like you're bringing that average down. Carl, look at that. Single figures. What's matter? Get by. Why have you got to use longer words messing about and that? <laughs> Told you. That that word about old, anti dipuian or something. Just say old. <laughs> That's a bit old, isn't it? That's a bit anti to and that. What's the point? Yeah. Get to the point. Sure. Busy. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Are you in a film this week, Carl? Uh, are we doing that now? Yeah, go on. Get it over with. Minute, get it over with. Let's get this show show over with. We can go home. You can go off to Lanzarote and sit on some ash. <laughs> some charcoal. <laughs> He's not happy about that. That's annoyed him. The listeners have all ganged, ganged up, up on him. him. Yeah. Uh, XFM giving him two CDs. We've had more calls for his resignation this week than ever before. What do you think of that, Carl? What do you mean? There's another reason. 
Do you know what I mean, though? Because he's grumpy, he's not just giving it, he goes, well, I can't help it, can I? I don't want it. You, you're being paid well to do a job. People have tuned in to be entertained, to have good songs. Me and Steve are, are working I'm pressing here. the buttons, I'm paid to press the buttons, that's what I'm doing. Has every CD started on time? Then yeah. Why, do, why, why would they give you Monday off if you were just paid to press the buttons? Don't get every other Monday off, do I? Do you, have you stopped doing that now, have you? Well, yeah. Why? Because there's work to do in that. But I'm not moaning about it, let's get on with it. Right, Scrooge, right, is the film that I'm in. Thought I'd do a Christmassy one. Okay. Right? Yeah. So get people in the Christmas mood and that. Yeah, yeah, you have, yeah. You have got people in the Christmas mood. You're uh, like Santa visiting them. Right. <laughs> so... It's listen. you in the film Scrooge. Yeah. Which yeah. version of Scrooge? The old one. Is it if it's just you moaning with bells, I'll be annoyed. Right, right. That on. is essentially Scrooge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, Scrooge, listen to this and then there's some question at the end. All right. And you can win some stuff and that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Only, only 20 minutes. What do you mean by coming in here at this time of day? Hmm? I've just, I've just been doing some Christmas shopping, haven't I? Probably do some more shopping on Monday because it's my day off, isn't it? Yes, I know it is. You don't have to tell me. You got to see what I've bought, Suzanne? No, thank you. I don't mind showing you. It's only, only a Christmas present, isn't it? Bought some more, uh, bought some more condoms. Why? Well, I bought some last year. Got two boxes. Uh, they all got used, so... I'm very glad to hear it. How much do I pay you? Why are you asking? That the presents I buy has got nothing to do with what I earn. Like I say, if I, if I won the lottery, I wouldn't go mental on her. Do you know what I mean? I probably wouldn't even tell her because... I think she'd want to travel around the world and all that, and I'm not into that, to be honest, so I'd probably keep it quiet. Why? Well, once you've been around the world, where do you go next year? <laughs> Each to their own, though, innit? You know what I mean? Well, what do you want? What, what, what for Christmas? Not that fussed, really. And you, it's, it's just as well I'm not that fussed, because do, do you know I do some work at, um, at XFM? You know what they're giving me for, for Christmas present? Nothing. No, might, might as well have been nothing. Um, two CDs. That's it. I was well fed up. I'm sure you were. They give you a list of about 30 albums and you get to pick two off the list. So I've gone for um, Kings of Leon album and uh, Best of Bob Marley. Mr. Marley has been dead these seven years. In fact, he died seven years ago this very day. Did he? Do you know, uh, do you know what sort of donuts Bob Marley likes? It's not my business. No, it's, it's not a proper question. It's an old Peter Kay joke. He likes the ones with jamming. Do you get it? <laughs> <laughs> Garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, Carl, oh man. Carl in Scrooge there. Um, <laughs> the only man more mean and depressed generally than Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh, dear. Oh, What's the God. question, Carl? Uh, well, if people have been listening from the start, right, uh, what albums am I getting? Yeah. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. What albums am I getting from, uh, for working for this place for six years? <laughs> Alright? <laughs> Ricky Dr. Mays at xfm.co.uk. Sweet music. Snow Patrol and Run on XFM. Wow. Nearly your last show, Carl, for about three weeks. Yeah. Carl's off to Lanzarote. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. next week, uh, we're doing it with Ian Canfield next Saturday. Then we're off, because it's day after Boxing Day, isn't it? Or mm -hmm. 20, yeah. And then, um, we're back on the 3rd, I think, aren't we, all together? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, what have you got? I think we should have done something like some roundups, like Cheeky Freak of the Week. We could have done Cheeky Freak of the Year. What's your Freak of the Year, Carl, if I put it to you? What, out of all the ones that I found out about? Yeah, all the ones that have ever been, yeah. 
Well, no, you have the elephant man in there that you found out about at the end of the 19th century. <laughs> Go on. Um, watched the elephant man again last week. Good. Good. Yeah, loved it. Um, probably that one, uh, the kid who was like, like seven, but aged to about 38. That was pretty weird. That amazed me. That blew sort of no, blew she was, but No, it was worse than that. She was about 90 or so, wasn't she? She is lady. now. But, but back then... Oh, oh, a couple of months ago she was 38, yeah. but because of the ageing... She's, she's sort of aged fast and that. Yeah. And it's really... Uh, this is the one that you think should be allowed to get fags and beer and off-licence because she's got the body of a 90-year-old. Well, yeah, it's only fair. <laughs> Let her have a decent life. Even though she's six? If she wants a packet of fags... The doctor said, you know, you're older than that. Even though you're six, you are sort of 72. If she wants a packet of fags, let them have them. She was 72 September, wasn't she? Yeah. So, yeah. But it was that, that's Do you actually weird, think that would be a good idea to have a, give a six-year-old with an aging disease a packet of fags? If that's, and a, what, they and a, if that's and a, what they want. And a pint of tenants. All the stress and that she goes through. It was saying something about how she has to have a passport picture done every three months or something. Do you know what I mean? Wow. That's what she's dealing with. So that, that was probably the way. Can we just say that Carl doesn't take the mickey out of these freaks? No. Uh, these people. He... I just, you know, it's things that fascinate me at mm. the end of the day. Yeah. Things like that are weird. Um, and things that, I mean, there's certain things that people get excited about that I think, well, what are you getting excited for? Like what? Um, news, just news. Do you know how I normally do the headlines and that? Yeah. Uh, Have we got any headlines? Not really, because there isn't that much going on. Isn't that, there? That's what annoyed me, though. There was something <laughs> about a woman who's going up Everest on a bike. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And they were like, oh, brilliant. But I don't think that's that good. When someone's done it walking, where would the woman who complained about you come in the years chart? That's what do you mean? Yeah, that's the woman with the enormous head. <laughs> Lest we forget. Yeah. She took offence to some of the comments you made on the show, and rightly so. I can, yeah, yeah, I, quite right so, yeah. I was out of order, and, you know, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I'll just uh, explain again that Carl, I mean, it was, a, it was a, it's, the Freak of the Week is sort of like more of a punchy catchphrase than, than a derogatory term, mm. in, uh, and Carl's fascination and childlike, I mean, I think we'd have to include Carl in the roundup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he'd be certainly well, be in the, the top fact, ten. I think the fact that she didn't sort of, pursue any official complaints means that, you know, she's a bigger person than you, Carl. Yeah, really, because, you know... Certainly, you know... Well, you know, so... <coughs> headwise. <laughs> she is. Um, Carl, you're going to do some news stories, I think. Well, the, the, like I said, there hasn't been that much going on. There's a sure. story about a fella who, uh, hasn't eaten for 70 years. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, he hasn't eaten, is that all the, that's all the information you're going to give us? Yeah, hasn't okay. eaten for 70 years, uh, hasn't had a drink, but he's all right. <laughs> well, that's rubbish then, next. It's not rubbish. Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, next. Well, what, well, what is it? How is that? How is a man not eaten or drunk for 70 years? It's that thing, isn't it? Your, your belly gets used to it or something. <laughs> Steve, has he misinterpreted it or is it rubbish? It, well, it does, to be honest with you, it doesn't actually offer any explanation, it just says that it, that's what happened. Right, so that doesn't, doesn't go on to Next. anything else. Um, a woman's had six organs transplanted. Um, woman needed a new kidney, a new heart, a new stomach, a new liver, a uh, new kidney, intestine. Does that mean that she's the same woman? I know. Yeah. You'd yeah. just say forget it, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't you, though? <laughs> well, not really. You know, the organ is just a, a lump of tissue. If you're, you're that, if you're that knackered. Call it a day. <laughs> no, don't waste time with that. Yeah. And, good. Uh, there's good a advice. Woman, there's a woman who um, who hasn't slept for eight years as well. well that's that's impossible. <laughs> Again, you want to see that, Steve? Yeah. So that's that's, that's yeah. the news for the week. Yeah. All rubbish. Turn Next. Next. Do you want to apologise once more for anyone you might have offended over the year? Yeah. I, like I say, I always I never want to upset anyone. We're no. Just it's just, stuff just, that's, it's just chatting. It's, it's from the heart. You see someone, you say, oh, it looks a bit like so-and-so, or isn't it a bit... You're not really, you know, you mm. don't really try and uh, hurt anyone's feelings, do you? But I think, I think most people know that. And I mean, I, and I've got to apologise for laughing at anything you say. I actually can't help it. Again, it's not vindictive, but when Carl comes up with some of the things he says, I, I mean, I, it's impossible for me not to laugh or react. 
So, uh, have a Merry Christmas, everyone. Well, before that, Rick, is there some final, um, for the year monkey news? Tell you what, let's play a, a good song. Okay. Right, we'll have a bit of monkey news and then that's it. A All bit right. of Amy Man then. Perfect. Yep. Brilliant, this one. No Choice in the Matter by Amy Man on XFM 104.9. Well, uh, now it's, uh, it's Monkey News. Well, before Monkey News, Rick, can I just mention to people if they enjoyed that version of Free Love Freeway that we played earlier on the show, the kind of alt country version? Yeah. That was by Ben O'Sullivan, and hopefully, if you check out his website, if you're interested, you probably can download something, or maybe he'll uh, tell you when he's going to release it. That's benosullivan.com, one word, benosullivan.com. Good luck to Ben, happy new Christmas to him, and new year best of. Yeah, rearrange these words into a well-known phrase exactly. of the time of year. Yeah. Initials MC. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Play the jingle. Oh, what is it? Chimpanzee that. Oh yeah, chimpanzee that. Monkey news. Right. Well, the last one of the year. <clears throat> it's not that good, but this is all that's been going on all week. Yeah. Uh, little monkey. Um, what happened is it's this plane, right? Aeroflot, I think it is. Russian airline. Um, having a good, having a good flight, everything's going normal and that. This is going to be libelous. The, the pilot, sorry I mustn't interrupt my side. The, the, was, how tall was the pilot on this flight? Okay, listen, we've had a few complaints, people saying, don't but interrupt, don't interrupt, Steve. Monkey okay. don't interrupt Monkey okay, News. Don't interrupt Monkey News. Okay, I won't then. Right. It's like okay. the weather girl complaining whilst Trevor McDonald's doing that. Okay, alright, go on then, go on then. Alright, so, uh, the, you know, the flight's going well, food's been served and all the rest of it. Anyway, someone gets upset about not having many nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right, they've not got enough nuts. Oh, they, okay. they, they hand the nuts out and that. One of the sort of passengers is going mental. Because what, what's, he, what's he saying? He's just, he's just what going mad. What language is he talking though? Is he Russian or English? So anyway, there's a bit of a <sighs> fight going on. A fight starts happening. People are going, what's up with that little fella? Right? The little hairy bloke. So, uh, they, they sort of drag what's wrong, him. What's wrong with Bob Hoskins? And why is he screaming? Why isn't he talking in his usual Cockney accent? Why is Bob Hoskins screaming and grabbing at nuts? So, um, you've ruined it. Right. Come on, come no, on. Oh, it, oh, it. Have I, have I ruined? Right, Rick, turn his microphone off. Okay. Can't interrupt right. you. Right. So anyway, so there's a fight going on. Nuts are going everywhere, right? So, um, anyway, so they, they manage to tie him down. They get him on the floor, tie his legs up and that, right? His little legs. Get him to the... <laughs> get him to... <laughs> Come on, come See you on. later. Have a good Christmas. No! Oh, how dare you? Finish the story. All that happened is they got back. Uh, it turned out that he shouldn't have been on the plane anyway. Why? His passport wasn't valid. Right. Um, and you can't cause problems on planes and that. So he got put in a cell for a bit. Turned out it was a little monkey. Right. Quick question. How did he complain about the shortage of nuts? Yeah. He just was going mental. Right. He didn't actually call over a stewardess. He just... Well, how did, how did he get on the plane in the first place? Right. What ticket did he have? Have a good Christmas and that. But yeah. you know it's rubbish. You See must you know that's rubbish. All you must best. know that's rubbish. All the best. You must know that's rubbish. Where was he going? 